itself was just like merino, nothing special. But the colors are just beyond fantastic. So I am going to jump right into the spin and I will see you on the other side. Bye.
so we did it. I actually set this yarn and it is a little damp right now. Um, I set it because I know that Marina likes to floof up a bit and it seemed awfully thin when I spun it and it did puff up nicely. Um, I'm going to be, <laughs> the baby is like hanging off of my legs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's so dangerous. You're going to free fall backwards. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah. Okay. Her new thing is to hang on the back of my legs and then like free fall backwards. It, it's wonderful. I'm sure her skull thinks it's the best idea ever. Anyway, so I'm going to be using this to make the On the Spice Market shawl. This is actually half of the fiber. I do have another half, but um, fun fact, it turns out that when you have a small human, you can't spin as rapidly as you did prior to the small human with locomotion. So, <laughs> um, in order to get this video out to you, I just spun half of it. So in the Spice Market shawl, it'll have the gradient from dark to light and then it will meet at that light blue and go back to dark again. And I think that'll be really beautiful. Um, I actually prefer that to spinning it all the way through. Because my original plan is I would just split the two rovings in half and then ply them and ply them. Um, which is what I did. So <laughs> I did it exactly the same way as I would have done if um, I was spinning the whole roving. If I had just plied the two little individual puffs, I would have had one really long gradient. And I wanted the center of my On the Spice Market shawl to be lighter than the edges. So um, I think I have slightly less than the called for yardage. Um, so I'm going to use the Oxblood Sweet Georgia yarn that I spun in the last Maker Review and add those together with this. And I think that's going to be really pretty. And the body of the shawl will be the White Paradise Ultra Fine Fiber. Um, but I think that will take me a while to spin because I am working right now at this moment, which is March... 16th, I'm working on the spring spin along spin. So that obviously is taking up my time and quite enjoyably so. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. The other thing I wanted to note is I expected quite a bit of dye runoff from this, um, but it, I didn't get any, not even a spot of dye runoff when I set the yarn, which blew my mind. So mad props to Fiber Artemis and their dye work yet again. So like I said before, if you're a Kiwi and you haven't tried Fiber Artemis or you're anybody else and haven't tried Fiber Artemis, please do yourself a favor and do that. So as always, this episode is brought to you by our Patreon patrons. Those guys are the bomb.com. We always have the greatest fun brainstorming and drilling over fiber together. If you want to hop on that bandwagon to support the show, get early and behind the scenes peaky peekies and all kinds of other goodness, including some people, the Dorset Defenders, get a swag bag, which I just finished putting together for our four current Dorset Defenders. Uh, you can follow the links down below. However, um, no, not however. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you like this video and are not subscribed and don't want to miss out on future videos, hit the subscribe button. And in the comment section below, I want to know, have you ever made an On the Spice Market shawl? And what, as knitters, do you think will happen if I use a lace weighty more lace weight rather than fingering on a shawl pattern that calls for fingering. I know it'll be more open, but is there anything else that I need to know? Because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I will see you next time. And Bean has just seen herself in the viewfinder. <laughs> Bye!